we were really tempted to end our course here but uh, in any project it's just not read so we also need to write something or post something or update something at the database level so without telling you how the post operation is done the training would have been incomplete for our learning purpose what we'll do is we'll create a custom table say we'll name it as z bill info and then we'll pass some parameters from the uri and we'll post it or update the database some values which we sent from the uh, uri from the front end okay for the brevity of the course uh, we have already created the table so you need to go to se11 and you also create a table just like this so this is nothing but uh, the entries from sale uh, from billing document header and billing document item so what we want to do is we, for the billing document header and item we want to save what are the plans and materials for a particular sales organization and for particular billing time and billing category so once we have a table ready so what is the next step next step is we'll create an entity type for our web service or sorry for our OData service so I go to my development client I'm here I will add another entity type which will be say billing info all right so what I'll do I'll right click okay I need to be in change mode so I'll go right click import DDI structure I'll name it as bill info and the structure name is Z bill info and I'll create entity set as well next so I'll I'll not select mandate because I don't need it and then I'll select the keys the keys are the document type and the item and then hit finish the entity type is imported successfully let's see how it looks so if I see the properties you have all this over here oh where did oh this is bill header I'm so sorry it has to be bill info okay bill info properties so you see so it is the billing document and item as the key now what is the next step we have to implement the post operation so how do I go there I go here so what is the post operation I said that crude C R U D so C is for create U is for update and D is for delete and G get entity and get entity set is for the read operation so we'll create a new entry in the table so we'll have to enhance this one so fail to go to implementation of the selected operation why because we did not generate it so this is a step mandatory step before you go to the class so once you generate it the custom classes the MPC class and the DPC class the methods will be generated so runtime object generated now we can go to the above workbench this has not been implemented yes we know this is not implemented now we want to go and implement the method so what is the method I'm trying to implement I'm trying to implement the what it is create entity so where is that billing info create entity you see here create entity is the method so right click and redefine so it will generate the same structure where we can write our code so this auto generated comment and code we don't need so when you want to read informations from the front end so you have to use make use of this class so io data provider so this has this class provides you the data io data so i'll just control and shift button then i know there is a method called read entity so control and shift so i'm not i don't need to remember i hit control and shift read entity data so i know there is an importing parameter and equals to i'll just hit or oh, importing parameter is oh sorry importing parameter is I'll just hit this okay control s es data and what should be that importing parameter tag to it should be tagged to the outgoing parameter so this is my outgoing parameter which I have all right so this and I'll just check the pretty printer and I'll check the syntax perfect it works fine now what I need to do I need to insert it So the syntax for insert is insert what we are trying to insert insert bill whatever table name I forgot okay bill info value 
insert this um, okay I missed here insert into this so what are the values values what value e r e and t i t and t t accepting duplicate keys but we also need to do one thing so you remember we did not provide in mandate as the field of the structure or entity type so we'll populate it mandate manually because it will be psi m a n d t so now activate this so the object is activated now we'll go to the gateway system and try to test it let's go here okay so let's see if my entity new entity type shows up here oops the bill info is still not here so what did we miss we have not uh, updated the new metadata so what we i'll do i'll go to slash i i w f n d slash m a i n t service i'll go here and i'll just update the metadata so i'll go to my our old data service you know it this is our old data service and load metadata remember this on the right hand side on the top just click on this metadata has been successfully updated now let's go to the gateway client and now let's check if the metadata is showing up bingo you see here it's coming here so if you want to see what's get operations it will fail because we have not implemented the get operation yet but if you want to run the post operation here what you have to do you have to pass the value what you want to post so that post uh, what you say the payload payload should be in the left hand side usually it will come from sap y5 but for our testing we have to have the payload here so now you do not know what is the payload will be so for that what we'll do we'll pull the payload from the item and we'll try to play with it so from the item we know bunch of things will come so what we'll do uh, so what we'll do we'll just use one of them so we'll do use this one and then try to create a payload out of it okay so this this will give give us one entry all right so this is one entry so one entry and then we'll use it as our payload what you have to do you have to hit the use as request okay then it brings to the left hand side and then we have to remove this and put the post operation entity set so this is info and then oh i'm sorry we just lost it so use as request so here one thing to keep in keep note of is you should pass only those fields which are there in this entity set so you need to make sure that the fields which are there in the entity type only those should those fields should come up over here so let's quickly check what is the fields available so you have all this field right fkrt this this and this so let's go here i think this is not there and fkimg is also not there and vk vrkme vrkme oh it is also not there matner so we have four of this and here we have eight so if you have less that's fine but you should not have anything extra other than what is there in this structure all right so let's try to test it now post operation execute look so it came to our breakpoint now let's see what entity will come over here so if you do f6 so whatever you passed in the you see here you passed four fields in the payload so this is the billing document item metner and works same thing billing document item metner and works so you can pass others also so it will show up here and then what i'll do i'll just insert into table size server she passed and f8 so you look here it is created here do you see the message here it's created and we can quickly test it also i'm going to my backend uh, system and going to ac16 and see whether this particular entries are saved look here the same entries right here on the left hand side you see this guy so the entries which were there here look here this four entry a uh, four item and the table entries are same all right so this is how you test it in the next video i'll show you how to make a json payload so that that will much simpler this xml looks complex i'll show you how to make in json format